you're there. Thank you for joining me on the program this week. I'm Gloria Umezuki. The Police Service Commission, established in 2001, is an external civilian oversight mechanism to assure the effectiveness of the police in fulfilling her constitutional mandate of protecting lives and property. It is charged with three responsibilities, recruitment, promotion and discipline. I had a conversation with the chairman of the Police Service Commission on the mandate of the commission, including the ongoing recruitment into the police force. Coming up next. The Police Service Commission is in the process of recruiting 10,000 police officers as directed by the President Muhammad Buhari Tekulisin. The Nigerian police is first when it comes to law enforcement in the country. However, over the years, the force has been depleted caused by several circumstances like retirement, death and resignation. So the police need funds for recruitment in order to address other policing problems in Nigeria, in Nigeria today. It might interest you to know, for the past five years, Nigeria, has not recruit, Nigeria police has not carried out recruitment exercise. The workforce has been depleted by 5,073, owing to manpower mistakes arising from retirement, resignation and death. At the instance of President Mohamedou Buhari, the Police Service Commission started the process of recruiting 10,000 officers, which is the first in the last five years. Which used to be the case. For the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Solomon Arasi, the recruits would undergo psychological tests to ensure they are not only physically fit, but also mentally capable of carrying out the difficult duty of policing. The exercise started on the 1st of April 2016 and lasted for six weeks. Over 900,000 applicants submitted the applications for the job. A breakdown shows that over 259,000 are seeking employment as assistant superintendents of police, over 209,000 for inspectorate level, while over 429,000 were seeking employment as constables. By 13th of May, we got uh, more than 911,000 applicants. And then the computer had to do the screening for us because we found out it was uh, um, to, to the bureaus. At the end of the day, we had uh, about 337,000 people who were qualified for the clean that did now. There are certain things computer cannot do. Computer cannot know whether you have uh, one eye, whether you have bow leg, or where you're on the height, whether you your chest measurement not up to size, that cannot be done by computer. These ones are done physically. That is going on now. The hope is that when the exercise is executed, it would produce police officers that could be described as the country's finest. I had a discussion with Mr. Michael Kiro, the chairman of the Police Service Commission, who talks more about the challenges inherent in the police force. Take a listen. Mr. Michael Kiro, you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Well, since your assumption as chairman three years down the line, you promised initially that you're going to make the police force more professional. Have you seen yourself succeed in that regard? I'm doing that. And we shall notice that uh, the police are wearing a new look this time around. New look? A new look, yes. In terms of professionalism, in terms of uh, accessibility by the public. That to the public could look at police as, uh, as they and we, or they and us. They have been now to realize that police is a part of society. It was just by accident that this is my policeman. You could be a policeman yourself. So that's what I told them to realize that the police is for Nigerians. The police is there to protect Nigerians. I've done that in a couple of ways, working in Tadem with the IG, both him and subsequent the uh, previous ones, to realize that first and foremost, the police is working in the democracy. When women of first joined the force or the military regime, women police officers never had any attempt at democracy. This is the first time with a prolonged democracy 
even to realize that uh, the police is a best of democracy. So in a way, I've tried to do that, and it's gaining ground the police. Now, can you bring us up to speed on the recruitment of 10,000 police officers? At what stage are we right now? We are at the stage of uh, physical screening and also document screening. We were given the other dimension by Mr. President to recruit 10,000 police officers to be for the state the police. We went online, online recruitment on the 1st of April, which ended on the 13th of May. At the end of that recruitment online, uh, 911,000 people applied. We used computer to do the screening, but the number was so large, we could not do it manually. And then we felt also that it, because the time lag, we had to do it very fast by the services of uh, computer experts. With that we did, the number was slowed down by computer to 237,000 people. From? From 911,000. Okay. The same thing computer cannot do, because police recruitment does not only depend on paper qualification, or to see them physically. Computer cannot decide what somebody has one eye, whether he has deformed anywhere. This done physically. That's what I said. As at this stage, we are having physical check on the applicants. After that, we go to look at the documents. To see the documents are what they claim to have, where the documents are fake, where the documents are um, genuine. That's the stage we are now. So how long would this take before the actual recruitment? Yeah, I would, it's going to really three, three stages. The stage of physical check, document verification, the medical examination, the final interview. That's in the fit. You see, uh, when it comes to recruitment like this, uh, Nigerians, you know, raise lots of questions, you know, how well this is being checked. Because currently, uh, a lot of people say the Nigerian police is very corrupt. And as a matter of fact, the Human Rights Watch in 2010 had also highlighted that. But they were just wondering, what steps do you really take to ensure that the new recruits are not immersed in this, you know, corruption tag, I guess it were? We put some tests and balances. As far as human endeavors are concerned, after these checks of uh, physical check, document check, uh, medical test, they also have grantors from local government, traditional rulers, and uh, service personnel who will give us an assurance that they support the guarantee of good character. We made it very clear to them. If the people want in any way, we're going to hold the grantors responsible. Well, we presume that uh, the grantors know them well and they won't change along the line. Based on that, we ensure that the grantors guarantee them properly and they behave accountable. If any misdeed, they be the manner on behalf of the candidate who joined the police force.